This is Twit. So, this is a picture of the scenery that I had while glamping in beautiful Healdsburg, California. Uh, so, I'm going to show you a demo of how this uh, touch retouch works. And so, what we're going to do is we're going to remove an we're going to remove an object. So I'm going to tap on object removal. And now I'm going to try very carefully to remove this fence. So first we're going to zoom in. Okay. And then we're going to... And then we're going to... We're just going to do that. And just, you know, just like remove it. I'll show you. I'll show you. Uh, glare, glare, glare. Oops, oops. Sorry, everyone. Oh, wow. It's like <coughs> magic. All right. It's like magic. Well, kind of like magic because that didn't, that one didn't work. Let me just show you what I did so far. So I managed to <laughs> move half of it. So it looks like the fence is just there. Uh, I would like to show you one other demo, but Victor, if you wouldn't mind uh, just going quickly through the Play Store page while I set that up so we're not looking at all my photos. So the nice thing about this is uh, it, it does cost a little money. I actually don't remember how much I paid because after you buy it, it doesn't show you and I haven't logged in and out yet. Um, but it is somewhat effective, which is which helps, you know, which makes you think that this is something that you would use in addition to photos. And yeah. you can actually export your photos directly to this app if you need to. So the next thing that I'm going to show you is uh, now the Pixel still does this annoying thing where when it takes photos with lights overhead like this, bleh, these come out, this glare. And wow. this lens flare is annoying, right? Yeah. I'm gonna remove that lens flare. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna zoom in and I'm gonna go to quick repair. And now we're gonna try and repair this and remove it. And uh, it kind of works. I mean, when you get to more sophisticated areas, but oh, wow. when you yeah. zoom in really quick, you could see it's not like a perfect, Yeah, it's not perfect at all, but, but I managed still. to remove a little bit of the glare. I think if I popped a filter on top of this on Instagram and did a little bit of like up and down on the exposure and contrast, I could maybe look at, make it look like shareable enough on the internet yeah. without all of these, but... It's, uh, yeah, see, Maybe that one didn't, it, it didn't do that well, but wow. you want to, sorry about all the glare, everyone. Uh, you want to do it kind of like incrementally to have it really work, but when you're all done, all you have to do is save it. Boom. It's done. It's finished. It's cool. I like there, that. Save. Yeah, yeah. Boom. Get rid of those fences. Uh, Touch retouch. What's up, Mateo? That's really interesting. How do how do we know this isn't a giant mechanical Turk to uh, power Google's uh, fence removal service they're in like, Google Lens? They're like, we promised it. We have no idea how we're going to do it. Let's uh, it's get a, everyone else to figure it, it out. Manually for us. Yes. <laughs> it's a dollar ninety nine, by the way. Uh, support your devs. It is an app that works. So if you have like little things, I don't know if it's going to do the fence removal the way that Google promised us it would do. But hey. It lets me touch up some photos pretty quickly. Worth the two bucks. Yeah. It's better than the camera app that you have that doesn't remove anything. 